Hey everyone, Reeve Walker with Urban Notes and we are here at Club Rio. Tonight we're going to see Paula Deanda and, and the beautiful models on the runway tonight. I'm so intimidated back here. They're tall, they're beautiful. I'm like, okay, if I only had a little more height, maybe that could be my profession. But look at this I'll girl. She's, tonight and she's I'm, like a perfect 10. I don't know what she's talking thank about. You. Like I'm excited. We're gonna, I'm going to be um, starting the show, uh, so I was told. So that's mm -hmm. exciting. Rip the runway with San Antonio models here representing. Awesome. So you've had a great career and it, it started, it seems like it started with your audition in front of Clive Davis. Oh, Can you gosh. tell us a little bit about that experience <laughs> and how, the, how that, you know, happened? I was 16 at the time and so much has happened since then, but it was just amazing feeling. Um, my mom was with me. We flew to New York um, after already having an audition for other labels. So just to get that chance and the beginning of my music career was amazing. That's awesome. So did he give you any kind of tips on how to further your career or anything like that? No, he just always asked me how was I doing, you know, because I was so young and I, I like that about him. He was a, he's very nurturing in that, in that aspect, so. Okay. So growing up, it seems like you had influence with Selena. You liked her music yeah, and course. how did that help you vocally? She's the queen. She um, it's funny because everyone asks me, what are you, what are you? I'm Latina, um, I don't speak it predominantly, but I can sing it and it's funny because people always freak out. They're like, how can you sing it but you don't speak it? I'm like, because I have an ear for music, I can me memorize it. Um, I try to speak it a little more being that I am Latina, but I'm a third generation and I saw that when they were um, when Jennifer Lopez played her in the movie, I saw that she didn't really speak it as well either. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of hard and you don't ever want to say the wrong thing I think in Spanish okay. especially. Exactly. So I can understand why she was like, oh, I don't know, yeah. muy, muy poquito. Yeah. <laughs> But it's funny, you said we have an ear for music, and I know as a singer, when you have an ear, like Selena didn't know English, mm -hmm. I mean, she didn't know Spanish, Spanish, excuse me, but, you know, she was able to speak it, hear it, you know, hear the, uh, you know, the the clarity in her words and everything, so as an artist, when you have an ear, you can kind of get away with certain things. Oh, yeah. So um, A lot of people don't know, too, I, I sang opera for two years, so I had to read music. Um, you kind of lose that if you don't do it all the time, but, you know, I used to sing in choir as well. Um, I sang country growing up. I'm from a really small town that's West Texas, San Angelo. I'm based here now in San Antonio, so I've had a lot of different um, varieties of music in my life, and I think that's kind of what helped me in my vocals, and um, it kind of shows uh, my versatility. So. Awesome. So tell us about the song that you're selecting on tonight and what other projects you're working on. I chose Easy because it's, you know, it's a, it's a great song for the girls to kind of strut their stuff to. It's very sassy. It has an organ in it. It's actually a Timbaland track. It's one of the last songs that we did on my first album of self-titled Paula Dionda. Mm -hmm. So um, I felt that would be great to start the show with. Yeah, so we can't and wait to see I have a new song you. that I might perform. We'll see, but I'm definitely doing Easy. So. <laughs> well, stay tuned. Check it out. Paula DeAnda, everyone. Reby Walker with Every Note.